much for coming out, guys. I'm so excited to see all of your dirty faces. We're going to have a great time. This is a different type of game. So I know some of you may be groaning a little that we are doing a bit of basic training. We're making as painless as possible. But we all need to buy in to this type of game or it doesn't work. If we do, I promise we're going to have a great time. But there are a lot of moving parts. It's not like any other game. <coughs> so pay attention. If you got questions, you're going to have us as a resource, your chain of command. So let's get started. Yeah! Yeah! We need more people over here! Three, three, three. Can I have that light over here? Yeah. Thank you. That was great. Okay, that hurt. <laughs> Don't look right into the light. Okay. Four. Alright. So you got a platoon as well. I'll do it. Come on, leaders, raise your hand! We are right now we're getting organized so each faction is dividing into squads designating squad leaders so that we don't step on each other cool Kelly how are you feeling at this present moment uh, I'm feeling great obviously is there anything else you'd like to say I would like to say that Sleep is very overrated, <laughs> and I found that the human body can exist with yeah. none, actually, and function perfectly, which I'm doing. That's, that's functioning. In, that's insanity. What are these right here? These are airstrike maps for the village of Amadi. Uh, that may sound really morbid, but it isn't. It's just all theoretical. I'm okay. sure no one's actually going to uh, bomb Amadi. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So what are you feeling right now? What's happening? I'm feeling pretty psyched. This is exciting. Uh, ready to shoot some people. As you can see, first casualty war is the truck. I actually broke the mirror. Oh, I lost him. We should just look. <laughs> Don't die. <laughs> okay. Don't get blown up. <laughs> Alright engineers, we're gonna start simple and end complicated. Engineers by the mountaineer! All the engineers? Alright, since you guys are engineers, that means you blow shit up. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Best kind of job. These are C4 debt packs. They don't actually detonate. Uh, but they do serve a purpose. So what you're gonna do is if you have one of these. in a visible area and turn the light on. All these debt packs that I'm issuing to you have little switches on the side. So if you hang out, Last man. We gotta go about 10 more meters. Probably get stuck. That is the limit of advancement. They're gonna then punch it down. Boom, in that line, it should be in a straight line still. Whoa, he's staying clear in the objective. He's clear twice. Everybody should stay. They should be running tickets. They're going to yell at last man, all the way, all the way. They're going to place down again. This guy on the outside of the element, he's going to turn to the outside in the back. 
Paul, he's gonna come from this way to make sure nobody comes from the side. That Broward team guy is gonna turn around as well. Boom, they have then secured a 360 perimeter. The squad leader is then gonna come and talk to Alpha team and Bravo team to see if there are any cattle to see what their ammunition looks like in their water. At that point, this team and this squad is gonna pick up and move on through to their objective. So Alpha team, you'll then once again form your wedge formation. Bravo team, you're gonna come back. You're gonna provide my wedge formation in the back. And we will continue to move on through. Boom. Destroy the objective. Okay, bring it all back. Uh, the Humvees are mostly made of aluminum for some reason. Doesn't make sense to me either. But uh, <laughs> that means that only the bumpers are magnetized. So the bumpers are the only areas you're gonna be able to put. Wait, you guys. You're actually not gonna have to worry about that. We're not gonna pump our own. Those are your vehicles. These ones are for yeah, your light. The side. Oh, okay. no, like, that's just that was EDB dot. That one. Cool. When you're carrying it around, you're probably gonna want it to be compact. And then when you're about to fire it, you need to slide it out. This is the only way you can actually fire it. Your rocket ammunition. You line this hole up with that hole. All right, so these have a range of about 50 feet. The closer you can get, the better. So they actually have paintballs in them. They're only effective against vehicles, so these don't do anything against humans. The vehicle drives up, you mark it anywhere on the vehicle, and it's out. That's it. Oh, 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 hey, right the bump. So these are tripwire IEDs. They run on a, uh, on a Ram set 22 blank. This bottom part, Parts of the detonator. The best way to disarm it is to make sure you hold that pin, but at the same time put your fingers over top of it. So put it away from so, your face. Yeah, put it away from your face. That goes off. Just, gonna, just take this top it's off. It's no longer active. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's just as loud as the Thunder V. Sharper. Team staying online on the flanks, right? Quarter memory. Yep, I remember half of it. When you've come through and you're waiting for Bravo Team to come through, what will you be doing? Calling out targets. Calling out targets. Security. Yep. Okay, security, 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 right? All Team right. leaders on the on the squad leader. Squad leader makes a call. Okay, move out. Charlie Mike. Okay. You do that anytime you cross danger area. Any questions so far? Nope. Let's go find a nice place to sit down and we'll do sand tables now. We'll go over everything we just talked about. Alpha team. Bravo team. Squad leader. Get your danger area. Your trees. The other half, come over here. Cover the flank. Alpha team, move through. When you get through the other side, y'all are going to take a knee. Covering that security, okay? Kind of in that wedge formation as much as you can. And the Bravo team, y'all are gonna come back from your flanks, you're gonna meet together, you're gonna come through, and you're gonna you're gonna get down, you're gonna take a knee, pulling that 360. Even though you saw through here, we know this is pretty much clear, you're still gonna be pulling that 360. Anytime you're on your knees, your, your field of fire is gonna be coning out, right? And you always want your field to fire across. So we just went over with Delta Squad, we just went over small unit tactics, um, squad formations, um, how to react to ambush how to react to contact, um, clearing an objective, clearing a danger area, basic squad movements that they train us in the military. So that is going to be the best trained squad out here. Just kill them all. Is that right, man? Sure is. Good. <laughs> Two red switches. Those are your power switches. One toggle switch on top. Okay. We made it a little complicated so that it's funny when people are getting shot out and completely forget what to do. Okay? You radio command and let them know, hey, we've gained control of the SAM, we need an airstrike on J-12, whatever the port is. Boom. Oh, sweet. Boom. Yeah, you're safe. This is so foamy. Perfect. Perfect.
Well, Boom. Uh, everybody's locked and loaded and ready to go and dividing up our two fire teams, Alpha and Bravo fire team. Got those all assigned, got the team leaders all trained up on what they need to do and so they're all understanding, got everything kind of hashed out and ironed out so everybody's on the same page and kind of an individualized self-sustaining deal so that you know, nobody panics and freaks out. We gotta fall back. Good to go. Sweet. Packing up, getting ready to go. As far as I know, Delta Squad's gonna go assault uh, the SAM site. Everybody else is gonna assault the fog. Thank you, go! Go back and give the coalition some more help. Durka, Durka! Ah!